Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make these shadow boxes. They're from 12 by 12 inch double sided cardstock. I've um, made two for you, but they're both six inch square. One's got a one inch frame and a half inch deep. The other one's got a half inch frame, one inch deep. I'm going to show you how to make this one, explain how to make this one. Very easy concepts, okay? No die cutting, just folding and gluing. So let's get started on this project. By the way, if you want to know how to make bows like this, I also have a tutorial on that. So have a look on my channel, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so that you know when I'm doing more videos. Okay, so I'm just going to bring in my scoreboard. Might be a little bit noisy, just bear with me. I'm just going to bring this one in so that you can see it. Now what I've done is I've put a lot, I've, drawn, I've scored the lines and I've also drawn lines on there so that you can see it much, much clearer. Now it's up to you which way you want this to happen, whether you want it to be the light side or the pattern side, entirely up to you. So all you need to do is score these at one inch. So I'm just going to explain the frame actually. So if you're doing the one inch frame, which is the green one that we're doing, you start with one inch and you've got a half inch depth. So the frame, the depth, they're the first things to consider. So if you want a one inch frame, half inch depth, start with one. If you want the half inch frame in a one inch depth, start with half and go to one so it's like i say it's really easy you know so just you just swap it around really so anyway we score down one and then we score down at one and a half then at two and a half and at three we turn our paper and we score all the way down at one all the way down at one and a half two and a half and three turn the paper again Turn the paper, same thing. One, one and a half, two and a half, three. So that's all you need to do for that. Now, there is one other little step that we need to do and you just decide where you want the top and you want the bottom to be. And what you have to do is, because the frame's one inch, we have to come in one more inch and just score just down those two lines. This is a cutting line, but if we score it, we'll get it accurate. So just at four and eight on the top, and four and eight at the bottom or one inch from the last line whichever you want to remember so i'll just draw those in so that you can see what i've done so i've just scored there and i've scored there and the same at the bottom now this has to be top bottom you know it doesn't matter which way around your cardstock is it's going to be the mitre for the corners so just one inch there and one inch there so just those two lines so that one's gone off. It's really important that you get these right. So let me just draw that back in. So that's all the scoring you need to do. I'll just remove the scoreboard. I get a bit noisy working on it. Just bear with me. And now what we're going to do is we're going to draw the mitre cut line. So we're going to go from that line we just drew. And we're just going to go from that line down to the next one. Just at that angle, 45 degree angle. So just make sure it's on there. I mean, you can just freehand cut this, but if you draw it, you may remember where to cut and not um, cut it out, you know? So we just go around and draw those. So just to those two points there. If the pen line was down, just make sure you're accurate on these because these are your mitre, so you want them to look nice. Also, when you're cutting them out, it's quite important to keep those really good. And the good thing is about this is you can draw these lines on the side that's going to be in the middle, okay, because they don't show. You won't get to see them. So if you wanted to make it easier for yourself, you can draw, like I've just done, onto this. Now, if you don't have a score board, you can obviously measure and draw lines and then reinforce the score by resting it on something, like a pad of paper or something like that. So it's accessible for everyone. So one thing I'm going to show you is on this one I put tabs on there and it's got a much better join because you don't see any holes in there so I'll show you how to do the tab way on the other frame I didn't and I'll just show you the difference it gapes so the frame can gape so it's much better to have it with the tabs so we're going to keep the tabs on so I'll just show you here what we're going to keep or what we're going to get rid of will probably be easier so we're going to get rid of all of this but we're going to have a little tab there so that one's going to stay. These are going to go. So just that little square there. So anything where the lines cross is going. So all of this is going. All of it. Oh, sorry, that tab's staying. 
that one there is staying. So just draw around those tabs like that. So I'll just make sure I keep that tab in there and then everything else goes, it crosses over. So just keep that tab and then everything else goes. It just makes it a little bit easier when you're cutting out to make sure you're cutting out the right things. So now we're just gonna snip through those lines. So just go down there. And this is the mitre, so we want this to be a nice cut, okay? You don't want to overcut those. This is the, uh, we're going to cut down on the funny shaped side into that tab. So just do the other side. Because we want the tabs to be on the rectangle side. They just work a lot easier when you're making the card, uh, the frame, sorry. It's a lot easier to have the tabs on the rectangular side, not on this funny shaped end. So this one, we're going to cut all the way down. But we're going to stop at that tab. And we're just going to cut across it to start with to make it easier. And then we can get in there and cut that out. So just go across there. And then finish it off there. Now just make sure when you're on the rectangle side, you've got to cut that as well, that, that other little line. So just cut that one. But make sure that that isn't bigger than that line. You can even add, just take it out a little bit extra because it will affect how the frame sits on there. So again, we're just going to go down here, cut this side, leave the tab, cut, actually I'll cut down here, we'll start here, cut here, just going to go around that, make it easier again, get rid of all of that and it won't confuse what you're doing. And then down this one. We've got to still cut that line. And we've got to cut that one. But I will make a little bit more of a cut on that one. Because it looks like it's a little bit big. So we've got our little tabs there and there. And then just the other two corners as well. But it's a nice little project. It's all sorts of things you could put in there. You could put a, a really big heart in there and then just decorate it full of flowers and then give that to, for Mother's Day or something like that. A really, really useful frames to have. I'm gonna cut this tab out while I'm here. So again, I'm just gonna get rid of this because it makes it awkward trying to get into everything. I've cut that one. I'm gonna go down and just cut that tab all the way down that one off and then it's just this mitre which is important so it's nice to get everything out of the way so that you can just get the mitre done so one more and we're done so all the way down to the tab cut around the tab into the tab that way that way and then just take that off just move all these bits out the way so now we're just going to reinforce all those folds so we're going to be coming in with this one so we'll make sure they all come in like so And we're just going to add some tape and then the frame will be together. It's that easy. I love it when projects are easy. And this one, it's a really simple way to put it together as well. So if we turn it over, this is now going to be, it's the, you know, the frame side, but these tabs don't get seen. So this is where we're going to put our tape on. Now, ideally, I'd put two pieces of tape along there, maybe some glue as well. But just for speed, and it doesn't matter that that's torn the paper either. That won't matter because it's not going to be seen. It's going to be tucked in. But normally I would put more tape, more glue, but just time-wise. And then we're going to put a little bit onto these tabs, which I might regret trying to get the tape off. We'll see. It's, ideally, I would use glue, wet glue. But glue bonds a lot better than the permanent bond. 
And the other place you can put tape is on these mitres because they go um, they go over. But I'll show you in a minute. So we'll probably put glue on it. So all we need to do is the rectangle sides first. Okay, so these not the funny shaped ones, the rectangle ones. Super easy. So what we're going to do is just fold it in half. So there's four pieces to it. The four scores you had, the one inch, sorry, the one inch, half inch, one inch, half inch. Fold it in half and then take off that tape. Get a pokey tool. Take off that tape and then fold it over. And just, that's it. Just fold it over and you could also fold it back. And then that gives you, if there's any like little bits that were out, I felt a little bit of a, a pull against that. So again, fold it in half. Take off the tape, fold it over. Give it a score while it's flat. Pull it flat the other way, give it another score. And now it's really the right shape. Nice frame base. So here's your little tabs. So what's gonna happen is you just tuck them in. Okay, just tuck them down like that. They're not going to be seen and they will hit against that. You don't need to try and push it against there. We can do that in a minute. But what I will do is take the, the tape off of them because it will get awkward the further along the process that we get. So let's take those little bits off. They won't affect it until I start folding in anyway. But I knew they were going to be tricky. I shouldn't have, shouldn't have put them on there. There we go. Give it a rub down. There we go. And then finally, this one. Okay, so that's those ones. And then next, what we're going to do is do the end. So we just need to take the tape off of this end. I'm gonna fold it down to get it flat. Rub down that tape. So then we're just gonna tuck the tabs in, like so. Fold this one up to there. And then this one will go like so. So that one is gonna go to that line there. So you can either just put it on the line and you'll feel it go in, okay? So just pop it in there, fold up the corners, mitered corners, and give it a little push down. It isn't for the other end. Just tuck those mitered pieces in. And you can see that bit there. It's gonna go underneath. It's gonna go down to that line. I'm just gonna pop that over, like so. And then you can pop some glue in to the corners, like so. And I'll run some glue along there because it doesn't seem to want to stick this tape. Just pop that in like this way. If you use wet glue as well, you get that little bit of wiggle time should anything go wrong. So just squash that down. And there you go, you've got your frame. Simple as that. Nice and easy, isn't it? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. Thank you. Bye.